Hi guys, how's it going? Coach Veer here. Just wanted to do a very short video to help you understand how to structure your business effectively and how to do it in a way that creates massive growth and massive stability um, as well. Okay, it's very, very important because a lot of persons have been asking me, you know, what is the best way to, to structure? What is the best way to place members and so on, all right? Well, the first step that you want to make sure you do is you want to get your top three solid people. So your top three uh, referrals, uh, you want to make sure that they're persons who are solid for sure. And once you've done that, um, you, you make sure that you have at least one on your first leg, one on your second leg, and one on your third leg. All right. Now I'll tell you this. Now, even though that you're only required to have three persons as your foundation, three direct referrals in terms of your clients, um, I would suggest to have at least five. And the reason that I suggest having at least five is because the last thing that you want is that you're at a stage where you're earning, let's say, you know, um, let's say, let's say $2,000 a week or whatever. And you literally miss out on that because one of those three persons goes inactive for that week. You know, they may have an issue that comes up on their card, you know, that may catch them off guard as well. And because of that, no, you only have two direct referrals and you're no longer qualified to receive earnings. So guys, don't, don't allow yourself to be in that position. Make sure that you are well secure. So I never have just three referrals. I would suggest um, at minimum five, because if you have five, you would need for three of those five persons to go inactive within the same week for you to not qualify uh, or be qualified um, for, for your commissions, all right? So just keep that in mind. You only need three, but it really and truly makes a lot more sense to have at least five direct referrals to protect and safeguard your rank and your position as you move forward, okay? Now, if you look at this diagram here, I put this together to kind of help you understand how is the best way to structure your team. So here are your top three individuals, your top three clients position. And what you want to do, let's say that you've got a whole bunch of people down here that are looking to get involved in the opportunity. All of these are potential traders and scholars, but you need to place them, but you've already got your three. So what do you do? Well, the system allows you to not only place persons where you want, but it also allows you to, to assign enrollment or sponsor privilege to someone as well. So I might sponsor this guy here using my link but I can then turn around and give him to anyone in this bit, in this organization and assign them as the sponsor. Therefore, that would be one of that person's three people. How cool is that? All right. Or I can sponsor him directly to me. All right. So let's say I've got my three, but I want to have five. I can sponsor him directly to me, but then still place him anywhere in my organization. So he might be under this guy down here, Help, you know, so he's part of this guy's organization, but it doesn't count as this guy's, one of this guy's number three people. It just counts as one of the persons in his team because the person is still directly sponsored by me. I, you can do that as well from within your holding tank, all right? I have a video that already explains how to do that. Check out my walkthrough video. So what you want to do as you have new persons that you're bringing to the opportunity, new clients, you want to build a power line or a straight line down on each of your three legs. Now, how it works is you bring, let's say you bring this guy in, the next person you bring, you can put them under here. The next person you bring, you put them under this guy, then under this guy, then under this guy, and you just build a line coming down. It is not your responsibility to build out all three legs for anyone. Each person is responsible for building their own three legs. But if you're doing it this way, what you're doing is, is at least assisting in helping to build one of those legs for the person. Now, does not mean, guys, that you need to sit back and expect that your upline or anyone above you is supposed to put persons in that line. This is just a strategy that it works if everyone works it. And it only works if every person in that line is doing the same thing. So it's not meant for any one person, like this is you, is not saying, well, you are going to build this entire leg and this entire leg and this entire leg. Of course not. This works when you, as you have additional persons, let's say you've got six more persons. What you can do, you put one to the very bottom. So you come down here, let me just put my pin on. So you bring one of those persons, you can put them, you can say I'm gonna put two persons here. You might put two persons here, or you might put two persons here. All right, 
So this is the six person you want to bring on. You can build or contribute to this power line on each of these three legs, but you are not responsible for having to do that. Each person really and truly should be building their own legs. All right. Once everyone gets that. Now, bear this in mind as well, there will be cases where your first leg or your first and your second leg might be weak or your third leg might be weak. You obviously want to structure in a way as well that you pay more attention to the legs that you need to put the most work into. Obviously, your first leg and your second leg require much more work or double the work than your third leg. So if your third leg needs 50 people to qualify for a rank, your first and your second requires 100 each. Okay, so there might be cases where you're putting, you're plugging people in on your first or your second or your third, but you might say at one point, you know what, my third leg is already qualified for the rank I need to be at. So for now, I'm going to start to plug persons on just my first and just my second to push yourself up to your next rank. But in the, in, in the process of doing that, instead of pushing it in the middle, don't do that. Let everyone fill their middles out. What you do is you come and you would position on the outside leg and you just come down, come down, come down. And this guy, he would have his, his own um, persons to work with. So he's going to build on the outside leg of this guy right here. And this is how he's going to come down. Same thing here on the outside leg of this guy, on the, right? So, so each person does that. This guy here, he builds on the outside leg of this guy, right? Because he's going to have two other legs that are there under this guy. He's not building those. He's only building the outside. Same thing here. This guy here, he's only building this leg, the outside. This guy, he builds his own other two legs. All right? So if everyone duplicates that, keep to the outer leg, whether it's on the left or the outer leg of the right, it's just the outer leg. And let the middle complete and fill in from the members doing work themselves as well. All right? This way, guys, instead of taking all of these people and filling it across the middle and only benefiting the few people here, what you're literally doing is giving everyone in this scenario, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, everyone coming down the line now sees an organization building under them and one of their legs is getting some assistance, all right? So if everyone does that, everyone wins. You create more excitement because more people are seeing at least one person, two persons, three persons, being pushed down under them. And if you're not, that is fine. It just might mean that the persons above need to focus on some of their other legs for the time being to help them grow as well, all right? Now, here's one last thing I'm gonna show you guys, just so you understand. I've talked about getting three and getting five. Well, if you've got three persons over the matter of weeks or months, however you wanna look at it, six weeks or six months, you could do it fast or slow, you reach the level of ambassador 10, which pays $10,000 if everyone got three who got three who got three who got three, all right? In the same six weeks or six months, if you want to do it slow, if you got five and help those five duplicate, getting five who got 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 five, who got five well, in the same period of time, you hit your level of icon 200, which pays $200,000 per month. Doing this exact same thing, but with 10 instead, puts you at the rank of Epic, which is a million dollars. So my thing is, aim for epic you might fall short and be at icon 200. i hope this made sense guys i hope you're understanding exactly everything that i showed you use this video share it with your teams help them to understand how to correctly structure and remember everyone is still expected to pull their own weight do not depend on anyone else to build your business for you and like i always like to say you're in business for yourself but not by yourself all right i'll see you guys at the top bye bye